and we're going to create API automation framework from scratch. It's going to be a very basic one, but it will do the job. Okay, pardon me. Um, so let's open up a new folder. Uh, I do not have one, so let's create a new folder to start our framework. Uh, let's see, so make dear uh, desktop API. Oops, misspelled it. Make did not gonna work. Okay, cool. So I created a folder named API. Now we're gonna open it up. Cool, it's empty. Awesome, we're good to go. Uh, so let's open up terminal and let's make sure it's empty. Awesome. So at the, at the beginning, uh, we are working with Node.js. So we need to have it installed just to make sure you do have, say, node minus V, and you will see a version of the node. If you do not have it, please install it and join us again. Coolio. So NPI init, which means uh, initialize new application. So by default, it gives you a package name API. We're gonna hit enter to accept default uh, options. So we're gonna keep, keep hitting enter until we see question. And yes, we agree. Uh, awesome. So you see package.json file just popped up right here. So we're gonna install a couple of more things. Number one, we're going to install Axis. This is our API, oops, oh geez, npm i Axis. Cool, you see Axis just got installed. Then we're also gonna install Chai, which is our verification library. And also we're going to install Mocha, which will run all of our tests, which is a test runner. Uh, let's give it a second. Cool. Let's make another folder, call it test. And then inside of our test folder, we're going to keep all of the uh, all of the testing files. So we're going to test, um, let's say, random jokes uh, API. So let's call it uh, jokes dash spec .js. and here we are going to uh, require access access equals to require our favorite api client and then okay then we have to use uh, we have to use mocha's um, beautiful uh, beautiful structure that it describes in its. So this should look like this. So this will allow us to kind of structureize our application. So uh, describe uh, random since we're going to be testing random jokes. And the first API, let me actually show you what we're gonna do. Uh, so let's see, that should be uh, check or that's Chuck Norris, I just saw that, uh, Chuck Norris jokes API. I think I saw this one. Yeah, beautiful. Yep, so this joke right here, uh, you can send it through the curl. Uh, I'll show an example. So curl will get us response and in response, you will see joke right here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, cool. So that works, but we have to send it through Axis, not through the curl. So let's see how the hell Axis uh, works. We go to GitHub Axis project, scroll down until we see uh, we see an example. Yeah, right here. So we're going to send simple uh, get request. So we'll just need to include the URL and that will be basically it. And a URL is right here. Oops, oopsie, oops. Cool, we got a URL, let's send, uh, let's put in here. So we have to save a response. So that'll be joke equals to await since uh, it's going to be a sync call. So we have to make this 
function async and that function async. Um, and now we can log this joke and see what the response is going to be. Um, so I think we run it. Oh, yeah. We have to run it by specifying this command npm test. Boom. Uh, that is correct. We did not specify actual test command in a package.json. So we're going to use Mocha, as I told you, since Mocha is, is a test runner. So if you type in npm test again and run it, it should boom get your response. So uh, we're going to response. You see huge, um, huge object. Uh, what we really care is number one, uh, status code, uh, status 200. So we actually, this is going to be your homework to verify status, but I will verify that uh, should get a new joke. Oops, not jokey. Uh, joke upon each quest. Bow. Done deal. Okay, cool. So now we can use our uh, library, our assertion library, which is expect. Uh, so we're going to require it and say require chai. And we're going to get expect from chai, which is in the search library. Uh, and then we're going to use it just like that. Expect joke. Oh, okay. So we have to, if we want to verify that a new joke, uh, that a new joke is received every time. So we have to send two jokes. So we're going to have to send first one uh, right here. And then we're going to send the second one uh, right there. And then we're going to expect first, oops, pardon my, oops, pardon me again. Okay, so expect first joke, let's see, uh, dot data. And then inside of the data, we're going to verify value, dot value. Uh, not, oops, dot not to equal. And then we're going to say same thing, but about a second joke. So basically, we're going to verify that the first joke is not the same as the second one. Since this, is, this API returns you a random joke, it should definitely not be the same one. So expect first joke data value not to equal second joke data value. There we go. So if we send it now, we should uh, get a pass. Sweet, it passed. Now we have automated our first a API ever. Um, and, but we need, whenever you automate something, you know, you have, uh, you write a test, you make it pass, but you also have to make it fail. Think about this. If once upon a time, uh, first joke will be same as the second one. How do we mimic that? Just by verifying that it's first one actually does not equal to a first one. So it should fail. Let's try it again. Sweet, assertion error. Expect Jack Norris once had an erection while laying face down. He struck oil, not to equal the same one, blah, blah, blah. So awesome. And then if we change it back, you will see that it will pass again. Coolio. So that's our first automated API. Uh, this is super simple. We have, uh, we did not have to specify any headers for Axios uh, as for this API, uh, which kind of simplifies our job, but it just shows you how it works. So if you would like to practice yourself, uh, let's do this. You need to verify that uh, should get 200 status code response. Uh, so here you need to verify that, uh, well, already pseudocode, expect status code to equal 200. Um, so if you like to practice, please do that. And then also, how about this? 
uh, we verify this. Let's see what, what does our response look like. Um, okay. And also verify that this is a part of the U R uh, of the URL in response. Uh, should get response with uh, blah 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 base of the URL. You also have to verify that. Uh, sweet. Thank you for your time. And next week, I will uh, create uh, create something new, something a little different because this is the way uh, companies with API only business. Uh, uh, basically, this is this is what QA team or the companies with API only business like this one does to verify the API's work. But next week, uh, we're going to look at how we can use API to speed up our UI testing framework. Uh, that'll be quite different and quite cool. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful night.